charity event in honor of a slain California Sheriff's Department sergeant is derailed because a police chief and local Democrat politician can't stand the thought of being at an event with Republicans. You've got to be freaking kidding me. It's time for final thoughts. And yes, you heard that right. The charity flag football game scheduled for this Sunday night down the road in Thousand Oaks has been postponed indefinitely, all because the local police chief can't stomach the thought of having Republicans and Trump supporters part of the event. What an absolute disgrace. The flag football game was planned to raise money for families of fallen officers, including the family of fallen Ventura County Sergeant Ron Helis. He was killed by friendly fire in the chaos of the borderline bar mass shooting in Thousand Oaks last year. But despite the fact that the LA Rams had already donated footballs and jerseys with Sergeant Helis's name and thousands of dollars were already raised, the event was canceled and donations were turned all because Thousand Oaks police chief and disgraceful snowflake Tim Hagel expressed concerns over Republicans who were set to attend. According to the event organizer and vice president of the Fallen Officers Foundation, Mike Randall, Hagel derailed the event after hearing Trump supporters Joy Vila and Scott Bayo, who attended the same church as Sergeant Helis, were invited. He basically said over and over in the conversation, this is not Trump country. This is, that slogan, Make it America Great, is not favorable, popular within 1,200 square miles. We don't want Republicans here. I could not believe it. We were totally floored by this comment. The only thing, and I quote, the only thing you could have made this worse, Mike, was inviting Dick Cheney and Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And I went, wow, are you kidding me? Well, my sentiments exactly, Mike. What a crock. I guess Chief Hegel didn't mind that Governor Gavin Newsom's public safety liaison would be there. I guess that was totally acceptable, but the thought of sharing air with real-life Trump supporters was just too much to handle. Not only did Hegel express his own concerns about the charity event attendees, he was also reportedly pressured to nix the event by Democratic Assemblywoman Jackie Irwin, who was apparently miffed her previous election opponent had also been invited. So what did Hegel do? Well, of According to Mike Randall, Hegel said if the speakers were not disinvited, he would tell the Ventura County Sheriff's Department and local politicians to pull out of the event altogether. But Randall stood his ground, and what happened? Well, Hegel said after speaking with the sheriff, they were indeed pulling out of the event. When asked about this disgraceful and selfish action, the Ventura County Sheriff's Department said in a statement, as the event began to materialize, we became concerned with the behavior of some of the organizers of the event. Although I believe the organizers had good intentions, the event was moving in direction we no longer felt comfortable supporting. Excuse me? The direction the event was going? By that you most certainly mean the loving and tolerant leftists at the helm aren't adult enough, patriotic enough, or decent enough to stand alongside people with whom they politically disagree, even if it means raising money for families of the fallen. What a joke. Folks, we rarely, if ever, see this kind of partisan political BS from the right. When was the last time you heard of a Republican or a Trump supporter refusing to be near a Democrat? That's right, rarely, if ever. You know, there are a few things in this country that should never be partisan. Love of country, love and respect for those who sacrifice and serve, and memorializing and commemorating the lives of those we've lost in that service and sacrifice. So Chief Hagel, you've been exposed and you've got some explaining to do, pal. Those are my final thoughts from LA. God bless.